Hello there. Today in the series of land vehicles that's still on, I will briefly introduce you to the Dingo 2 HD TRGS. The safety of soldiers has a special priority in military operations. With the Dingo family, Kraus Maffei Wegmann or KW has developed a highly mobile wheeled vehicle that uncompromisingly meets this requirement thanks to its protection concept. In cooperation with the German defense authorities, the Dingo was tested and qualified in accordance with official test conditions. The vehicle impressively demonstrated its outstanding properties in extensive tests against ballistic threats, anti-tank mines, artillery fragments and IEDs. The risk of injury to the occupants was reduced beyond the prescribed level. Thus, the Dingo family has a level of protection yeah, that has not been achieved by other vehicles in its class. With the safety cell, KMW guarantees direct occupant protection against pressure waves and ballistic threats. A mine-proof seating system prevents the transmission of blast energy to the crew members as well. The protection-optimized stowage concept for equipment and also personal equipment also protects the occupants from the secondary effects of mine and IED pressure waves. And combat wheels with run-flat rings ensure sufficient residual mobility over 50 kilometers in the event of a destroyed tire casing or loss of pressure. This ensures that after an attack it's possible to leave the immediate area of danger under one's own power. An integrated NBC, that's Nuclear, Biological and Chemical Protection System, also allows safe use in contaminated environments. And probably no other Bundeswehr vehicle has saved as many lives as the Dingo. As an all-protection transport vehicle or ATF, it's particularly in demand on convoy or patrol trips. And due to its relatively small dimensions, narrow and winding streets and built-up areas can also be easily driven on. Its Unimog chassis makes it agile and off-road. And of course, the Dingo is also armored. And this armor can withstand a few kilograms of TNT explosives and also light machine gun fire. Its weapon station can be operated under armor protection. The ATF Dingo can be armed generally with an MG3 machine gun, the 40mm automatic grenade launcher or a .50 heavy machine gun. The Dingo can accommodate up to 8 people in standard. The Bundeswehr owns then more than uh, 500 Dingoes in different versions. They are mostly used in the Army and in the Armed Forces base, but the Air Force still has them. And the Dingo 2 HD TRGS is a mobile, highly protected wheeled vehicle based on the field-proven Dingo series for versatile mission profiles and extreme terrain conditions. In the artillery function chain, the integrated TRGS radar fulfills the tasks of reconnaissance of moving targets and artillery distance measurement to correct their own shots. The Dingo 2 HD TRGS is an innovative reconnaissance vehicle with a safety cell connected to the driver and crew compartment. Due to its modular interior concept, a wide variety of reconnaissance systems can be integrated as required. The currently installed TRGS radar is a pulled Doppler radar with an active electronic steered antenna or AESA which is mounted on a 6 meter mast. And the features of the Dingo 2 HD TRGS according to the manufacturer are a Dingo 2 with Unimog U5000 chassis, it has up to 4 crew members, it has an extendable mast system for the TRGS radar, it has storage space for personal equipment. It has an optional weapon station and the TRGS radar has capabilities. It's a pulse Doppler radar with Doppler tone and AESA or the active electronic steered antenna. It has an, is an automatic reconnaissance and tracking of ground, sea or even low flying targets. It has a long range with a wide coverage of up to 40 kilometers and in long range mode also up to 247 kilometers. It has a dual beam capability, that means multi-beam operation. It has a multi-mode capability, this is a time multiplex and parallel operation. And then it has a simultaneous capability, the detection and tracking and sector surveillance. It has a navigation system with inertial platform for exact alignment and positioning of the radar to the north. 
And of course, we have the usual product information or the stats on the Dingo as well. It has a length of 6 meters and 8, a width of 2 meters 39, a height of 255, it's 319 with a weapon station, a weight of 14.5 tons, an engine power of 225 kilowatts, a range of more than 800 kilometers, and of course, once again, the protection against mines, ballistics, IDs, and NBC. And there are some more features according to the manufacturer I don't want to leave out. As I said, it has up to four crew members. It has a passive or round protection for the crew against mines, shelling and booby traps. Those are the so-called IEDs. It has a modular interior concept for the integration of a wide variety of radar system. It has the expandable, extendable mast system. And it has a high level of off-road capability thanks to the unique structural connection of the safety cell to the chassis while retaining the chassis frame's torsional flexibility. And if you want to know more about interesting military technology, you'll find my next video right here in the end screen. And there are a lot of dingoes there already. There you see how many variations are possible with just one vehicle. And that's why I'm doing all these variations. If anybody gets bored, I'm sorry, but I truly believe that people are interested how flexible those vehicles are. There are variations of a lot of those, but from TV and, and everything else, we always only see one version. And that's why I want to bring you a lot of versions. And I hope you stay tuned to this channel. Of course, there will be other vehicles than the Dingo. And there will also be ships, airplanes, and whatsoever in the future. But I want to do the job here correctly and uh, that means for the moment that we will stick a few more weeks with a dingo and i'll see you in my next video i'll be back